Rod is a very clever man. person who's working out of the chicken shed and building world class motor vehicles which are replicas of racing cars particularly around the 1950s and 60s years and uh, he's building them from scratch with no blueprints and just books and his own knowledge and his own skills and he's coming up with these incredible products that are world leading and they're built in Omaru. Everything we do here is, is, is eye and touch. There's, there's not a lot of machining as such. It's, it's an old fashioned way of doing things. So 1962 GTO Ferrari. About 20 years ago, I came through Omaru when I was working in Dunedin. I had to go up to Omaru for work. And I called into this workshop on the main street in Omaru. And there was a California spider that they were building and got to ship off to Omaru. And they had an Aston Martin in there that they were working on and there was a series of Jaguars that were D-types that were in all stages of being built. And I just couldn't believe it. Like it, was just, it just blew me away and I thought, gosh, these guys are so clever and I sort of asked them how they were tied up with some overseas outfits, since they're all, all the vehicles people who go to America. They just sort of said to me, well, no, no, we just sell them to whoever wants to buy them. And they all seem to go overseas because they're the people that want them. And I just thought, well, one day if I get the money, I'm going to buy one of these and well, get one of these built and, and keep it in New Zealand because it's such a cool thing. It took me 20 years almost to be able to come up for money to be able to do that. This car, if it was an original, would sell for 35 million US dollars. So it's a uh, pretty expensive car. I think you need to be passionate about the vehicle because if you're not, it's wasted on you. Because Rod is incredibly passionate about it. I mean, you need to view it like a piece of art, like something that is incredible. If you haven't got a passion for it, I think this whole process is a bit wasted on you. To me, this is art. This is not just a car. This is, this is very clever. This is, this is an artist. Of the this is a, someone building something from scratch. I mean, these cars start off as flat sheets of aluminium. The design is on a blackboard. feeling you have about this. Those XJ13s that they built, are, they're now currently on Top Gear. They're, they've got a program on one of, the, one of the XJ13s that's come up for sale that Rod and his dad built in the past. And, and Jay Leno rang him from America to inquire about it. And so it's, he's now known all around the world. Yet Rod lives and works out of a chicken shed in Omaru. If you look in the old books of Ferrari books when they were building the 250s and the team of people that were involved in building these cars and not just building them but designing it and making sure it all worked and all fitted together. Rod's Rod and he's got Carl helping him and Caleb as well and that's it and that's the whole team and he still comes out with a car that's as good as if not better than the original. Cars, there's no roughness, the really edge is smoothed off and made properly. And it's, 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 it's a piece of art, it's, it's a bit of perfection. I mean, that, that's the artist, you know, that's, that's what an artist does. Starts with a blank canvas, and that's what Rod's done. And to me, this is artwork. I've never asked him when it's going to be ready because it'll be ready when it's ready. And for me, it's you don't interfere in the process of an artist, you know, you let them do it the way they want to do it. So for us, the fact that it's taken us four years to get this stage is almost irrelevant.